Hello! Today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4. Now, this isn't just any old game of Hearts of Iron 4. This is the New Order. The Last Days of Europe, a ambitious mod which depicts a cold war between Japan, Germany, and the United States. So, I've thought long and hard about who I want to be. Now, you've seen almost every single Germany leader. You've seen the United States. You've probably seen Japan. But... Who haven't you seen? What about the American? Yes, today we're going to be playing as, uh, I think it's Wellbell or something? I don't know. Let's begin. Bada boom. Uh, once Mikhail was an enthusiastic member of the Russian fascist party with the exiled community of Harbin. Few still held any reverence for the old guards of the white movement, the old men that lost Russia to the hands of the Reds. Fascism, modern ideology, a rejection of decadent liberalism and unnatural socialism seemed uh, to him the way forward. That would make Russia strong. Well, uh, I'm not exactly going to be doing that today. Onwards. Well, let's take a look. As usual, it's just a tiny little focus tree. <laughs> <laughs> only 30,000 people. Nice. <laughs> we only have three factories, so... I mean, these guys have, like, nothing, right? Um, I played as a warlord a few times before. Oh. And he made it to the moon. An American tourist? Who'd want to come here? Find the best vodka we have. You seem pretty fun. Offer me some almost not awful vodka. <laughs> the best vodka they have is not awful. Uh-oh. There goes the civil rights bill. An ultimatum. From who? Oh, how many guys do you have? Two. Alright. But he has some nice factories. Demanding we hand over tribute or loot or else they raid us. Of course not, we'll not back down. Backing down is for wimps. Yeah, god dang it, we're raided. Aww. Uh, Alright, let's try uh, round two with this, uh, this border war. Let's see what we do. All right, come on. Ah, God. Uh-oh. Burgundy done it. Oh. Oh. Some guy died. I don't know. Uh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. No, oh, God. I'm just want, I just want to read them all. Let's see. Mercenary coup. Ivan and Boris do not like their new assignment. Transferred from the political wing of the RFP to the army right before the eve of the operation. They were, as their instructor put it, dead weight. An officer handed them their bolt-action rifles and told them to stick with the rear guard, but the chance of survival was the highest. There was no danger here, and the Siberian woods were quiet. The wood whistling between the tre the wind whistling between the trees and the cold air as cold as ever. Do you think Vulzed will let us back? Boris asked Ivan, who was squatting beside him, watching the surroundings while smoking a flimsy cigarette. All over the lines, incidents like this flared up, and the operations call off on a panic. Where Bell's coup had begun. Mercenary Gambit succeeds. Oh. Uh. The Republic of West Alaska. Ah, you smell that? Smells like America. We have been raided, dear God. And more focuses. Any second now. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> West Alaska. I'm surprised the uh, Russian population would like that name. They probably don't. And insert. And encircle. All right. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh. 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 Oh no. Uh oh. Just need to scavenge fruit. Oh, integrate. Nice. Boom. Now, uh, only hope is if you could please enter this thing. That'd be great. Oh, he, ha he has no guys here. Okay. Well, uh, you do you, good sir. Uh, oh. SpaghettiOs, uh oh. Well, you know, one time I remember playing this mod and he just, he just wouldn't die. It took like a full year and you just wouldn't die. Uh, okay, we're good. Uh oh. Hold on, let me get the uh, the music up and running. Just so you can listen in.
Uh oh. And there's all the guys. Oh, he is. He is motorized. Uh oh. And wait, did he did he disappear? He's just gone. Where did you go? Why would you leave? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my money on either Goring or Borman. We'll have to see. And Norway's free. Uh oh. And South Africa. Oh shoot. Too bad you didn't get to see that. All right. Well. Some of these other guys just look... Are you a... Are you a villain in a kid's cartoon? Some of these people just look downright awful. <laughs> They're not... Straight up, not having a good time. Except for, uh... Except for you, Jose. You're... You're, look, you're having a good time. And bada bing bada boom. They're gone. Greater ambitions. Poor Hydric. Well, when I say that, you know, I, I, you, you, never mind. Oh, here, here they are. Oh yeah, they certain, they certainly are going ham with everybody. Here's the, uh, this guy. Uh oh, I heard noise. Hey, who did I go to war with? What? De Gaulle. Free fans content when we must prepare for this new threat. Uh, how, how many divisions could they possibly have? Uh oh, how many factories? Not a lot. Yeah, I should be able to take them on. It's just, it's just mountains and, and, and stuff. Actually, I'll probably just rather focus on making these good divisions. See? Boom. Seven, seven twos. Hey, I did it! And, uh, oh, Croatia. Uh-oh. Nixon. Why, why, why'd that happen? Resigned his post, the first to do so, because, oh, wiretapping, of course. And Kennedy, I can't be good at all for all the poor Africans. Well, uh, uh-oh. Like, it's barely been a year. <laughs> they didn't even finish the first... <laughs> the first focus. <laughs> yeah, 26, that's not too bad. Oh. Okay, first of all, cool stuff in Osland. Uh, Omps could do in stuff. Hey, Dimitri. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Um, and and these guys. All right. Well, uh, this isn't this isn't gonna end very well for you. Uh, oh. I called it. I said it was either Borman or Goring.
And got it back. And we got a hydroelectric plant. Nice. Oh. Great, great, great. Now I can uh, integrate this jazz. Scavenge for loot. And then there's only one guy left. Make I bet I can make beefy 40 whips of all this stuff I have. Uh-oh. Yeah, the lords were... No kidding. How many divisions has he got? Divine Mandate of Siberia. How many divisions he got? If, if you couldn't tell, that was supposed to be a reference to a Joseph Stalin quote about... Oh, never mind, actually. Looks like we weren't going to have to wait that long. Just uh, chilling. Oh, hey! Oh, would you look at that? Let me uh, integrate. Integrate. Oh, the West, Al the Republic of West Alaska, unifies the Russian Far East, and in the far eastern reaches of Russia, something unthinkable has happened. The legendary Mitchell Livingston Warebell the Third, leader of a mercenary outfit, has gained control over vast swaths of a region with a size that rivals Canada's, originally seeking a haven for veterans and soldiers frustrated and alienated by their treatment around the world. He found himself being the service of Mikhail Matkovsky. From there, he turned against his former employer and establishing a place where soldiers could feel at home. If the rumors are true, Weirbel does not plan on stopping in the Far East. No, I don't. You're right about that. Meanwhile, production. Oh yeah, I noticed that. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of people these days. Oh, oh, wait. Crap. Indonesia. Well, I wonder why that deserved a super event. Finally, I have waited so long to get to 1969 so I can finally start to prepare to go to war. And let's, let's go beat up the Central Siberian Revolutionary Council. It shouldn't be too hard.
right in the middle of my war. of about everything, but, uh, at least we conquered a bunch of stuff, right? I just want to finish off the, uh, these two guys, seven days type of war, I'll just stay. There's no need to bring that up. I never. Oh my God! I beat up I beat up Kazakhstan just for that to be taken by Yeltsin. Like, ooh. All right, let's beat up Boris. Oof. And bada bing bada boom. Just gotta click the button now. The United States is a <laughs> mercenary Russia. And let's listen to that, that super event. What international news outlets in the United States call shocking turn of events in what German state <laughs> media is claiming it's an American plot. Mitchell Ware Bell III announced the formation of the United States of Russia. Average citizen, wild ride. 
welcome to the club. So it does focus on you. Thank you for playing the full content. That's a lot of guys who won't die. Alright. I just want to thank you guys for sticking in for this full video. It's going to be so long. It took me like five hours to complete the whole campaign. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe since it really helps out the channel in these early stages. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be my last video for about a week or two. Again, so, so I promise I'll be back. But as I am going on a quick little vacation. And again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a